Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're going to look at something really cool. Can you tell? Can you even tell what this is? Uh, this is a giant caravan beetle. Here's a skeleton warrior for scale. This is nine inches stem to stern. Uh, is, that, is that a real thing? Okay, anyway, this model is awesome. I love it. I love it since I saw it online. This is a 3D print. The body comes in three parts. It has a head, a middle part, and a tail. Once they're on, you really can't tell. They go together real easy. What's a real pain is the legs. They only go on a certain way. And But once you figure out which one goes where, then it's very easy to, to do it. And this guy has all of this luggage on him. It's just such a cool model. Oh my gosh. It's so fantastic. Look at that. And all along it has like these bells or beads or something like that. Uh, I was going to make it like a shiny green, you know, like some beetles have that metallic green uh, reflective color, but when I did it, it absorbed the turquoise matte, and I was really sort of, I was really married to the idea of getting turquoise on this, on this uh, particular part of the model. So in the end, I ended up painting the beetle orange, and I'm very happy with it. It's got uh, highlights and lowlights, obviously. It's ticked all the way up to a very brilliant uh, yellow. I've got scurvy green, which is one of my favorite Vallejo colors for the eyeball there. There's just so much cool stuff on this figure. Oh my gosh. I, I can't get enough of it. And it has these canopies that go on it. So there's eight pet posts, and each section of the canopy, like this, there's two of them, and there's a front and a back. So it sticks on like this, and then there's a front part that goes on the front. Now I, and it's a shame because it obscures all this detail. And you can see it if you look down to the side, but if you're setting it on a table, you don't get to see all those wonderful pieces to it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just magnetize it. And the mat, I'm not gonna embed the magnets either. It's the magnets are gonna go, are gonna give it actually a little bit of height, which will allow that interior to be seen just a little bit better. And then these things have those uh, beads or bells or whatever along it. So you have them along the back here, then along the canopy, and then of course hanging down in the front. So this model has really excellent balance to it. And I love this part here where it extends out. Like they could have just stopped it here and this model would have been great. But they also made this fantastic piece. Now, putting this pattern on here, ah, oh, that was a big uh, with me. Wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but just the white or burlap or khaki or whatever it is, it just created this sort of very boring area on the top of what is an uh, otherwise very exciting model. So, and I, so I, I wanted to bring out the turquoise and the white and get some of these other colors drawn up into it. And I had a lot of fun painting all this baggage. It's all fused onto there. Uh, you don't have to like organize that in, which is really nice. So this piece is really amazing. I really love it. Just an outstanding figure and a lo absolute load of fun to paint. And yeah, it would be, it, I, I did it up for role playing, for fantasy role playing, but I can't help but wonder if you couldn't make like a custom Age of Sigmar army out of pieces like this, like themed things. And uh, I just love, guys, I love miniatures so much. I love doing what I do. Uh, blue table painting is an absolute delight to run nowadays. Oh my gosh. All right, well guys, thanks for tuning in and I hope that you got your inspiration for the day.